hi friends welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to talk about how to create a key performance indicator in a size tabular model okay so please try to watch all my previous videos so that you'll get more understanding on different technologies like uh, sql server development performance storing power bi and dax and integration services now we'll go to the business studio there we can understand how to create a kps in a ssis tabular model okay let me open a visual studio so here we can see that already i have imported all the tables and also i have built the relationship properly so i think um, this is the first video in a sql server analysis services tabular model so going forward i'll try to focus uh, so each and every options that are available so for timing in this video i'm trying to create a kps okay let's start how to do that so here we can see that uh, kpa key performance indicator so now let's start to create okay so this is the major sales so so if you want to see the formula just right click edit formula so you can see what kind of expressions or calculations functions i have used to create this measure okay so i'm just uh, summing the sales amount only again so i have created another measure so here i just hard coded the target what is the target okay now i will try to create a so kp based on this target measure okay let me do that so right click so create kp so here we have two options one is measure and another one is absolute value okay so we can define the so kp based on the measure or you can give some kind of value also there is no problem but in this case i'm giving so based on the target okay here target is a different measure okay now we can see that so if it is 0 to 40 percentage means this color 40 to 80 means this color 82 remaining means this color even you can change it there is no problem also for example you can change something like this also even if you don't want this icons we can change whatever icon you want for example i want this icon okay so i want this icon so i have given the th target as a measure let me click ok so now i have created the kp okay so first i need to build this let me build it okay solution has been built successfully and i'll try to deploy this solution into so sql server analysis services okay so deploy has been started so it's asking me credentials okay let me give it so i have to enter password okay so click on connect so it's doing the deployment okay so what are the tables we have in this solution everything is successful now just click on close now what i'm going to do i will try to connect to, through so client tools okay in this case in power bi i'll try to connect through ssis analysis services so here i have to provide the server name so let me check what exactly server name so click on analysis copy the server name and paste it here so for timing i'm using so uh, live connection only not import mode okay for timing i'm using live connection only okay click on okay so we, we can see a different types of databases are there for timing i'm using ssis final so under we can see that model and this is a different perspective so going forward i'll try to cover what is meant by perspective so i'm just just click on model okay now you can see that what are the so tables that are there in the ssis model so same thing we are connecting through live connection now so i'm trying to take the table as a visible here 
so let me take any kind of like uh, so i am taking product name so it's opening so let me do some formatting border shadow and it's still working yeah so let me increase the text size yeah that's fine okay now i have created the so measures and kps in the internet sales tab now you can see that so here so sales okay so in the sales measure i have created the kpa now we can see that value goal status whenever we create kp automatically will the, these three things will come value goal as well as status let me drag all this into the report canvas value so descending order okay and also goal so what is the goal so and status see now we can see that so based on the target it means that if this product sales reached the goal means we are getting this color okay so here so while creating kp what you have mentioned edit kp settings so we have specified so if it is below 31 percentage means i want this color and if it is between 31 to 79 means so i want this color if it is above 79 means you will get this color okay so based on that it's giving curve k1 okay see so likewise you will get the kp status for example in case if you don't want these icons okay in case if you don't want this icons we can change anything for example i have given so i want these icons so let me change it so click on okay let me try to deploy one more time so it's now deploying okay deployment success close again try to refresh it now it has been changed okay likewise we can create uh, so different types of kps in the ssis solution same thing we can use in the power bi so whether it is live connection something like that okay so in going forward we'll try to explore different types of examples and uh, different options that are there in the ssis tabular model so that's all for today i hope you like this video so if you have any questions or queries you can send me an email or drop your comments in the comment section so that i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you so much for watching thank you guys